Hello and welcome back, family and friends. I say shalom, mishpaka. Peace be with you, family. Welcome back to the second, number two, of a short little series I wanted to do. I wanted to have talks with you. Okay, I'm, I'll start off the same way. Welcome to Heart to Heart here at a Hope International YouTube Church located in Taipei, Taiwan. I am your shepherd, or you want to call me your hostess, Alicia Yahoo, a.k.a. Pastor Z, Evangelist Z, Prophetess Z, or Zarina London. Welcome. Welcome. And I really don't want to take up a lot of your time. I know people are busy here. If you notice I'm s sitting again, I'm going to attempt to teach something. Yeah, and this one, this one particular one is, is entitled, Are You Confused? I wonder if there's anyone, am I the only one that's confused about these verses? This what I want to talk to you about. Okay. Um, you know, when you, when you read the scripture, you know, the, the creation, you know, day one, and you know, what the Father, when he said that there be light, he created the star, the moon, and all that. And then on the sixth day, uh, it said on the sixth day, he created male and female. Well, I want to read that. You know, okay. But then when you read later after he rested on the seventh day, it, he realized he didn't have a man to till the land. And then he formed a man, a man. He's formed man. And then he's, well, you, well, let's read it. Okay, let's read it together and see. I mean, because sometimes we just read things and take things for granted. I mean, I, I, what I want to say, are you confused? I want to say, were there other people on the sixth day? Sixth day creation? And was man, Adam, and Hua, whom we call Eve, were they just set apart? And they, they were on the seventh day? Let's just, I'm, you know, food for thought. Stay with me. Hold on to your religion. Let's just read it and see. Okay? All right. You can get your Bibles and go with me. Get your Bible, your scripture. We're going to start from the favorites. Genesis 1, 26. <laughs> you hear me say that a lot, but we're talking it's something different today. Okay? Let's see. Where did I put, I wrote it down. Yeah, we're going to read first from Genesis 126 to 128 first, okay? And I'm, I'm going to be reading from my Sefer. Uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can read from your King James or your NIV or whatever you have. Let's say, okay? Genesis 126 says, now even in the Sefer, it says Elohim. Well, I don't use Elohim. I want to say, I use his restored name, the restored name Alua. Elohim means um, mighty ones, plural. It's also used for uh, pagan deities. It's used for angels. Uh, so how can it be him? Alua, all, means the almighty one. So, uh, even so, that's what I'm. The the Sefer says Elohim, as the, and I think the King James says uh, God. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Genesis one twenty six, and Alua said, "Let us make man, not man, because ah, there's no eh in Hebrew. It's ah, man. Let us make man in our image." after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish, over the sea, over the file of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So Alua, the Bible says the God, I mean it says God or Elohim, created man in his own image. In the image of Alua, the Almighty One, created he him. Male and female created he them. Okay, make a note of this. Now, in, uh, at Genesis 1, 27, it says, Al Alua, the Almighty One, created man, or if you want to say man, in his own image, and created he him. Male and female created he them. Make a note of that, okay. 28. And Alua, the Almighty One, blessed them. And Alua, the Almighty One, said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish 
replenish. Now, re means to, 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 to replenish doesn't mean like put back something that, that was there before. Replenish. Replenish the earth. So, does that make you think? So was there a world, was there a world that was? Replenish. Go back and, you know, put back what, what, what used to be there. Bring it back again. Replenish the earth and subdue it. Subdue it. From whom? From what? From Satan? From the fallen angels? I'm not going to say Lucifer because Lucifer is not his name. His name is God Rael. Okay. And subdue. Uh, say replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish, over the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Okay, now we got that, right? Now, you made a note. Replenish the earth and subdue it. I mean, look up the meaning of those words. Okay, now we're going to skip to... Uh, then we, Now we're going to go to... Because, you know, it has everything. We're just going to jump to Genesis 2 verse 8, okay? Genesis 2 verse 8. Yeah, Because the other one is, is saying, you know, 29, behold, I've given you every herb bearing seed upon the earth. It's describing the, those things. Well, we want I, we want to get to the point I'm trying to make. Let me say, are you confused about this? Okay, Genesis 2 verse 8. And Yahuwah, Alua, the Almighty One, planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man, man, whom he had formed. Now, when you go back in uh, Genesis 1, 27, say, created he him, male and female. Okay, created. Here in Genesis 2, 8, it says, he formed the man. And out of the ground he made. Let me see, let me see. Let me read it again. And Yahuwah Alua, the Almighty One, planted a garden eastward of Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made Yahuwah Alua to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden. Now, isn't it something? They mentioned that the other the trees that are good for food, right? For eating. But then they say, and the tree of life. You know, it it separates them. That's different. In other words, beloved, it wasn't an apple tree. <laughs> okay, stay with me. Stay with me. Okay, and tree of life also in the midst of a garden. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Okay. So, and that wasn't that that's not an apple tree. Now the other trees are for food. Well, the other, this, this tree, one is the tree of life. But, and, you know, we're just talking. I mean, you're going to make your own decision. But isn't the Savior called, isn't he called life, the tree of life? And, you know, in the Bible, in the scripture, they refer to men sometimes as trees. And they multitudes as, body of, as um, bodies of water, you know. So we... We need to pray. I mean, open up, open up your mind. Don't just close. You close it. Nothing comes. Nothing goes out, but nothing comes in. Okay. And the tree of good and evil. I mean, just food for thought. Satan, that old dragon that people have called Lucifer, and I think one he's called God Rael or Hallel, was good and turned evil. I mean, food for thought. Could it be? You know. These are things that they don't give you a chance to, they just tell you one thing and you just believe that. But I'm, I'm, I want you to open your mind and make, call you to research like it did me. I said, you know, are you confused? Am, am I the only one that sees the confusion here? I mean, <laughs> well, I'm not confused now, but when I was reading, like, wait, wait, wait a minute, it made me do some research. Okay, uh, let's see where I'm River. Okay, the uh, the tree of knowledge and good and evil, and a river went out 
How far did that go? Oh, just to eight. Yeah, that's right. Now, now we're going to skip to Genesis 2, 15 to 23. Genesis 2, 15 to 23. Are you with me? If, if you have to go get your Bible, just put it on pause and then start it up again. Okay, Genesis 2, 15. And Yahuwah, Alua, the Almighty One, took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to guard it. 16. And Yahuwah Alua, the Almighty One, commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat of it. For in the day that you eat thereof you shall surely die. Now, they call his word food. And and didn't didn't you should say you eat my body, you know? And he's to, and and drink my blood. He is the word. He is our meat and our drink. I mean, this is just food for to open your mind. You know, get away from that apple. First of all, apple's not in there in the Bible, and it's not a an Adam a Adam didn't bite a piece of apple and it gets stuck in his throat, and that's why and that's the Adam's apple. That is foolishness. That is a fairy tale, and it's foolishness. We got to get away from children's fairy tales. Okay. All right. Where are we? Yeah. Command and Yahuwah Alua commanded the man, saying, "Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat of it." In other words, you shouldn't listen to. It. Maybe say you shouldn't listen to it. For in the day that you eat or listen thereof, you should surely die. Because when you eat, when you eat, so if you eat the word, oh, that was, because that's good eating. I remember my brother said that to me. That's good eating, sis. It could be like you hear the word and you, you eat it, you digest it. Mm, I mean, that was good. So, you know, so when you eat, you are, say you are what you eat. You are what you hear it speak. You eat, when you hear it, it goes in, you eat it. You know, just, just, just open your mind. Okay. 18. And Yahuwah Alua said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help me for him. And out of the ground, Yahuwah Alua formed every beast. Feel, okay, we stop there. Let me see. Okay, so we stop. And out of the ground, no, he said he didn't want the man to be alone and he would be help me. me. Okay, all right, you got that, right? He made Adam, he, and he, Adam had been alive for a while, then he realized he was alone. Well, let's go back to Genesis 1, where it says, male and female, he created he them. So in, on the sixth day, he created male and female. Oh, wait a minute, I thought this was me. I thought this was turned off. Let me turn the sound off. Or somebody. Okay. I mean, are, are we? Is this confusing to you? I mean, I mean, does this just throw up a red flag? Where it says, okay, remember, remember, is it 27? Genesis 1:27. So Alua, the Almighty One, created man in His own image. In the image of Alua created He him. Male and female created He them on the sixth day. And it says everything He created was good six days right okay uh then i did i went I, I, maybe i left out mm, okay stay with me yes and then it talks about the seventh day he rested on the seventh day he rested because that from every day his work it was good Let's read, uh, let's read Genesis 1, I mean Genesis 2, verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day, Alua, the Almighty One, ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And Alua, the Almighty One, blessed the seventh day and sanctified, which means set it apart, 
because that in because that in he had rested from all his work which Alua created and made. Now, he rested on the seventh day from all his work. Now, this is, now that's what they're talking about. That's Genesis 2, 1 to 2 and 3. But then when we, can, then what, did I, what did I say? Then we went to Genesis 2 a. He says, And Yahuwah, Alua, planted the garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Okay, let me just read more. I'm sorry, you know. Okay, let's, I'm going to read here uh, uh, from Genesis 2 4. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that Yahuwah Alua made the earth and the heavens, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, and Yahuwah Alua. Alua had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the earth. And Yahuwah Alua formed the man of the dust. Now, are they recapping it, or is this a whole nother day, I mean, some another creation? I mean, I'm asking you. What do you think? Let's read. Let's read two again. Now we already know the sixth day, he created he male and female, and he said, "Go." He gave him commandment, "Go be fruitful and multiply." But then you see here, I mean, then he formed. Talk about formed the man, but he hadn't the one hadn't formed the woman yet. But on the sixth day, there was male and female. I say okay we went through seven day I, I then I just go I, I'm just I, <laughs> okay now what I say oh did I two to Genesis 2 15 23 again I'll read that again Genesis 2 15 and Yahuwah Alua took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to guard it and Yahuwah Alua commanded the man saying of every tree of the garden you may eat freely now remember after this, he, the, 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 after he hadn't, he hadn't even, he, let me see, after he created the man and the woman, then he had to bring a mist to, for the trees and the plants to grow and all that stuff. Was he here? Now they're already grown up. The, the fruit trees are there. Food is there. And he's, you know, and he put them in the garden. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought I had to sew together. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> um, then he talks about, yeah, and Yahuwah took the man, put him in the garden, and they're dressing. And Yahuwah Alua commands the man, saying, Of the tree of the garden, you may, of every tree of the garden, you may eat freely. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat of it. Okay? Now, the other trees were made for food. And because in that day, you shall surely die. And also, it was a video I did back and saying, when did Adam and Kua, who we call Eve, die? They say they died years later, but actually, in his realm, they didn't even live one day. Because Adam lived to be 930 years. No one lived to be a thousand. Doesn't it say one day with, uh, uh, one day with Yah uh, Yahuwah is like a thousand years for us? So nobody lived a whole day in his realm. So they actually did die that same day in his supernatural in his realm food for thought, something to think about. Okay. You think about even Methuselah. He didn't, I think he lived to be 969. Nobody lived 1,000. Nobody lived a whole day because of the sin of man. They were supposed to live forever. See, we, we, we think so small a day our time. It's, I mean, that's not even a second in the, in, in the Father. I mean, he created time. He created time for us. He didn't need it. He gave it for us. Let's go, then we go to 20. 18. And Yahuwah Alua said, It is not good for the man, the man, that the man 
should be alone. I will make him a help me for him. Well, 126, 127 say, male and female, he created he them, and he told, gave them order, go be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. Six day. All right, and then 19. And out of the ground, Yahuwah Alua formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto the man to see what he would call them. And whatsoever the man called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Verse 20. This is uh, Genesis 2, chapter 2, verse 20. And the man gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for the man there was not found a helpmeet for him. Hmm. As, uh, as uh, 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 what is it, um, Truth Unveil would say, suspicious indeed. <laughs> Interesting and suspicious indeed. <laughs> and 21. And Yahuwah Alua, the Almighty One, caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs. In the Hebrew it says, took the curve. It didn't say rib, it says took the curve from man. Now, it could be a rib or it could be took the curve. <laughs> Food for thought. Okay, stay with me. And closed up the flesh instead thereof. 22. The rib, or the curve, which Yahuwah, Alua, the Almighty One, had taken from man, made he a womb man, and brought her unto the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. 23. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father, his mother, and shall cleave unto his woman, and they shall be one flesh. 25, and they were both naked, man and woman, and were not ashamed. Okay, so, uh, all right, asking, are you confused? Have you ever thought about that? See, a lot of people, they don't even think about that. I mean, six days, so I'm going to ask it. So, did, when, when Cain was put out, left, and he went to the land of Nod. Were there already people there? Were, did he marry a six-day creation? Or did he marry his sister? One of his sisters? That's not mentioned. Something to think about. You know, because there are teachings that teach this. There are teaching about the six-day creation. You know, and you know the number eight, you know, that means new beginning, right? Six days, the number of man. Seven is Yah's complete number. He rested. He rested on that day. It doesn't say he rested that day and then that night. He he made. He, you know, it didn't say that. But then he he said he rested on that day. So the Sabbath, the seventh that he made for us, not for him. He made the Sabbath for us. And then after that, he made. He formed a man. So a new beginning. Could it be? I'm just asking. Could it be? that there were six day creations already, people. But, you know, okay, just like my little dog here. Uh, he's a, a Maltese. And if I want the same thing, I, I want him to be pure, I would mate him with another Maltese. I wouldn't put him amongst others so he can have a mud, right? I'm, I'm just, let me fool for thought. Could it be that he, the father put his, his people, the, the two that were going, his people were going to come from their loins kept them separate in the garden of Eden, uh, Eden. Because that's where his son, keeping that line pure, because that's where his son was going to come from. You, he knew that's the line where his son was going to come from. Could it be? I'm just asking. You know, or they say uh, um, Eve is the mother of all, but the mother of his people, this, this is just things I'm just bring it up to you. Maybe it's never been brought to you. Maybe this is new for you. It's something to think about. Maybe it'll get you, excite you, get you in the Word to read and pray, to understand. Because there are teachings that there are six, teachings about six day creation. And that Adam and Hua, 
call Eve were separate creations set apart. And they were in that garden to be pure, for to keep that line pure for the Savior to come through until Kua, Eve, um, disobeyed the Father. That's another story we get to. I won't go there now. It's a bit deep, you know. But I just say this. You say, Apple, what do, what do you call forbidden fruit sometimes? I believe most all sins were created, all sins were committed first in the Garden of Eden. So, I'm not going to go any further with this. I just wanted to, that's why I said, ask, are you confused? You know, see, I, I if you just go by what you hear, you sit there and let somebody talk to you, re, you just listen to what they say. But when you get in there and read it yourself, read I, I challenge you, read Genesis 1, and then read Genesis 2, and pray, and just say, and I mean, I don't know, this, the, I'm reading from the Sefer, which is basically the same as King James, only it has his restored names, Yahuwah and Yahusha, it does not have Lord or God in there at all. Where it says God, it has, well, they have Elohim, which will be Alua, and where they say the Lord, they have Yahuwah, and where they have Christ, they have Messiah, Mashiach, and Yahusha. So, but anyway, I just thought, I mean, make the word interesting. Stir you up. Some of you, some get mad. Oh, ah, now women, she gonna, she, now that's the devil. She talking crazy now. <laughs> get in the word, find out. I'm asking you. You know, I mean, does that make you, I mean, does that interest you? Does that cause some kind of like, mm, make you want to say, now, I, let me understand this. And to make you want to pray, get the spirit, the set apart spirit, the Ruach Kadush, to under what you call the Holy Spirit. The word holy, it should be set apart, not holy, set apart, you know, different from everything else, set apart, so righteous, so pure, it's set apart from everything else. Ah, uh, yeah. I hope you and I hope you enjoy the don't don't, don't get mad. Get mad, get busy in the word and research and find out. I'm gonna try to find some other things to challenge you. Maybe it's something to make these kind of things make me get in the word. Cause I'm like, wait, when I started, like, wait a minute, I gotta find out about this. And my and uh, um, the next one, this short series is is what, what was that? that one's gonna be called. What did I say? I know that's food for thought. It's gonna be. Uh, I think I want to talk about who about the truth about Rahab or shall Rahab. Remember there's no eh. Otherwise it would be hallelujah. <laughs> Jeremiah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Why is it, you know, and they got Dan, Dan, and like Dan and Gad. There's no such sound in Hebrew. There was no such sound for A. It is done and God. Yes, there's another one. <laughs> Yes, Jacob's son's name was God. And there was another prophet by the name of God. And I say, say there was a pagan idol, uh, what they call mighty one. See, when they say Elohim or where they put God, it's supposed to be mighty one. That's why Alua, he's the almighty one. Yeah. So, anyway, enough of that. Well, all right. They want to thank you for joining me. This is Heart to Heart. I am your hostess prophetess alicia yahoo we are here in taipei taiwan and i can remind you we don't ask for tithes and offering neither do we pass the collection plate but we do ask you to pass the youtube link and to subscribe if you haven't already all right thank you for being with us and i hope you enjoyed this challenge and make you get in the word all right here's some sugar here's some sugar from yahoo here's some sugar from yahusha and here's some sugar for me. And the Rook Hakadush is in me. Here's some sugar. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye, family. <laughs>